General Mills, makers of Kick, bring you Curtain Time. Once again, it's Curtain Time. And tonight we offer the premiere of a fast-moving melodrama, a breathtaking love story set against the grim background of war in China, a truly thrilling play, Inside the Lines. On stage, please. On stage. Wanting the first act. On stage, please. On stage. Standing room only again tonight. The stage is set, and once more, we're ready for that magic moment in the theater, curtain time. Remember, this play is presented for your entertainment by General Mills, makers of America's brand new cereal sensation, Kix. K-I-X. In the remaining few seconds before curtain rise, Let's take a quick look through tonight's playbill. Our play, Inside the Line, was written for curtain time by Kay Limerick and stars Betty Lou Gerson and Olin Soleil. The orchestra is under the baton of Henry Weber and the production is directed by Blair Walliser. And now the house lights are being dimmed. Mr. Weber steps to the stand for the overture and the show is on. on the first act of our play. The scene, a Chinese village. Shells bursting, airplanes zooming overhead, machine gun bullets ripping down a narrow street. Around the corner comes an American, a war correspondent. He scrambles desperately for shelter. Just... Mission compound. Love note from the Japanese. Tell the postman not to ring twice till I get under cover, lugs. <laughs> Thanks too much. Drop in for tea sometime. Maybe I can have some choice brown glass and sugar. Oh, well, I'll be safer inside here. Oh, oh. Hmm. Sniper, huh? Got you first, old boy. No, no, me no sniper. No one else stand. Good Lord, a woman. I say I am sorry. Have I hurt you? No, breath. Yeah. It's mutual. I knocked my own breath into a cocked hat with that flying tackle. Here, let me help you up. As if I can get up. No, me sit. Okay, I'll sit with you. <clears throat> How have you been? American man joke. Not joke. Oh, well, American man will weep if it'll help any lotus. I cry beautifully in A-flat or the key of G. You just name your poison. Oh, make a man shell shock. Bad. No, Lotus. No, he's just glad he's undercover again with both his ears intact. Uh, are you alone in here? I can't see a thing in this blame blackness. All alone? What for, make a man? Oh, that's a happy thought, too. Thanks a lot, Lotus. Well, two orphans of the storm ought to get along magnificently. Now, let's start at the beginning, hmm? I'm Lee Woods, New York Herald Express reporter. Oh. Uh, you know, press. Uh, writer. Newspaper. Oh. Mm. So you're safe enough with me. Guaranteed harmless. Uh, what's your ticket? Ticket? Uh, your name, Lotus. What's your name? 
Tau. Tau? Tau Taling. Right into a hornet's nest. Nest? Tau Manasan. Yeah, well, Tau better understand, and after this be somebody by the name of Lotus. Listen, Tau, aren't you the only child of General Tai Ling who is leading the Chinese defense? Honorable Tai Ling, father to humble Tau. Yes. Yes, well, for heaven's sake, don't tell that to anybody else you meet. You know, the Japs are combing this sector inch by inch to find you. And when they do, goodbye, Tao. Tao take trick? Yeah, to meet honorable ancestors and no fooling. What are you doing here, anyway? Waiting meet venerable father. You talk like your father was coming in for lunch. Tao, this is war. Tao, no. Well, what I want to know is what are you doing here in the first place? Why aren't you home where you belong? Tao help injured Chinese soldier. Water, bandage. Tao run from Red Cross camp north. So you did know you were being hunted, hmm? But maybe help more before court. <laughs> Tao, you're the works. What are you going to do now? Tao run south. South? Through the lines? Oh, not a chance. Tao try. Well, George, I believe you would. Tao going. You're a brave kid, doll. I like your spirit, and I'm going to help you. I'll be cutting my own neck, and it won't be worth anything after this mess is over anyway, likely. If you haven't a ghost of a chance alone, but together, maybe we can get you far enough to make a break for it. Make a man help? Yeah, sure thing. I love a scrap. Anybody's scrap. Make a man get hurt? You know, with a managing editor on one side and a war on the other, maybe you think it's a bridge luncheon already. Besides, this would be a swell story. The old man will eat it up. Uh, <clears throat> if I live to get it on the wire. You go with Tao? Mm-hmm, all the way. Nice make a man. What? Oh, sure. Yeah. I'm not bad to look at either. You ought to see me. As a matter of fact, I'd like to see you. After I'd tackled you in this pitch black, I could tell you were young. Your body was so cuddly soft. You smelled so nice. It's a lovely smell after the stench of war, Tao. I hope you get through. And that sweet fragrance of incense is as good a reason as any. You like Tao? Oh, well, I like your thinking style. Don't let the rest of it bother you. I'm just a hard-shell reporter with a sentimental streak inside. That you're a lone woman fighting for home and country like you were the whole Marines gets me waving a flag, that's all. Oh. Tao wants to go south while dark. What, now? Not can we caught in sunrise. Yeah, but those Japs are coming up too fast. There's a mob of them rolling in close. But Tao oh. must go. Okay, stubborn, it's your show. Hey, wait. Listen. Down against the wall, Tao, and pray hard. This best building leaves standing. Stupid ones always think mission place a refuge. Search well. Abe, dog. Up with you. Hands up. General. General Fushigi. To Farnes. Farnes? Oh. Yes, and a woman. Do not chill your face, French. Open. Ah. So, we are greatly rewarded. Here is unworthy daughter of questionable Tai Ling. The gods are kind to us tonight. I'm Lotus. Lotus Weefa. My father is merchant in Hong Kong. Not so. You, Tao Tai Ling, many times have seen your picture. And you, in Tura? I'm Lee Woods, New York Herald Express, General Fushigi. Here are my credentials. I came into the mission to evade your expert fire, General. Inside, I met the lady, but I don't know her, and I'm not with her. So? We shall see. Newspaper men know is very serious defense to help enemy. Until your case is proved, I shall have to hold you prisoners. Take them away, Wang. Put them in chains. two young prisoners as the curtain falls on the first act of Inside the Line. Tonight's production on Curtain Time. Say, how do you like to have something new for breakfast? Something different from anything you ever had before in your life? Well, here it is at last. General Mills, the leading cereal millers of the world, 
have just perfected a new breakfast food called Kick. K-I-X. And it's just as new as it could possibly be. Now, there's a mighty good reason why Kix is new. Some time ago, the experts up at General Mills got together and deliberately set out to see if they couldn't develop for you something new, something absolutely different in the way of a breakfast food that would really give you a new thrill for breakfast. That was their sole purpose, to create something better, something utterly new, and believe you me, they certainly seem to have found it. Why, Kix doesn't even look like any other cereal. You see, instead of making corn into the usual flat flakes, the Millers took it and blew it into golden, appetizing bubbles. These crisp, tempting bubbles have an appealing taste, we think, that no corn cereal ever had before. They stay so much crisper in milk or cream, too. Crisper, in fact than any ordinary flat flake cereal on the market. Yes, Kix really is different in every respect. Different to look at, different to taste, different even in nourishment. Because we have added four valuable food elements to this new breakfast food that, so far as we know, you won't find combined in any other well-known corn cereal. So don't wait. Ask your grocer for a package of Kix tomorrow morning. It's Kix. K-I-X, Kicks. second act of our play. The scene, a bare little room where Lee and Tao are imprisoned. Lee is impatiently trying to awaken his cellmate. Hey, for gosh sakes, wake up, Lotus. I want to talk to you before we get separated. Mm-hmm. Wake up. Oh, how can you sleep with all doom hanging over your head? Hmm. Like a woman. Oh, we're... Oh, Mason, man. Yeah, yeah, American man. Now listen, Tao, let's set a couple of points while we have the chance, will you? I have an idea we won't be together very long. Now talk to American man, please. Thank you. What? What's the matter with you? American man, say go south with Tao. The American man, run away like, like, like rabbit. No, no, Tao, you don't understand. You see, if they think I'm for you, we're both in the soup. But if I get free, then maybe I can help you from the outside. They're not going to let you go so easily, you know. They'll hold you as hostage. Me stay. You're darn right you'll stay. Stay forever if I know that father of yours. Anytime his daughter is more to him than his country, I'll buy rice for all of China. And they won't just ask ransom towel. They'll crack an army whip over him to play ball their way or you'll be killed. I'm both servant. Only die once for most adored father. Oh, but that's silly. You're young. You don't want to die yet. I want to go south. Yeah, well, I want to get a story filed in my paper, too. Just like General Fushigi cares about that. You worry about your going south when you don't have an axe hanging over your neck. Ox? No, not ox. Axe. Now, don't get technical. We haven't time. Guard will be back any minute now. Listen, I'm sure I'll get out through my paper. And then I'll try to keep up on what they're going to do with you, you see? They'll probably move you out of the danger zone. Oh, comes the guard. Light for unready pond ducks. Light, huh? Same to you and many of them. Oh, gee. Say, this ought to put you up, Tal. Can I appreciate you coming soon? Then no more batter with fire pigs. Since I tell that lux what I think of him. 
two yen. Yeah. Yeah, one yen to punch him in the nose and one yen to be back in America. Ah, oh, Lotus, you've no idea how wonderful it is there. Well, this very minute, I'll bet those good old USA boys are throwing pop bottles at some baseball umpire. Pop? Pop, yeah. We drink that like tea. Here, here, have some hot tea with your lice. Huh? Oh, well. Fushigi's going to feed us till he finds out what's what. That's something to be thankful for. Think Fushigi nice to Tao? Oh, you probably will be. Until he hears from your father, anyway. Tao will be good, not make Fushigi angry. Yeah, yeah, that's a girl. You just take it easy. There'll be a way out. You know, it uh, might not be bad if you'd wash your face. It's sort of sooty or something. Hey, did I tell you I think you're kind of nice looking? Make a man like Tao? So, just admiring your good points while you're sleeping. Only you, you ought to uncover your head and not wear that shawl so close to your face, you know. Maybe if you see you'd like you better if you weren't wrapped up like a mummy. Shame, honorable ancestor. Uncover body. Ah, you ought to see the way American girls dress, Lotus. Yeah, but they're worth it. Say, how about coming around when the slaughter's over so I can show you a real country, hmm? For two cents? For the joy of... Hey. Hey, what do you say? Or maybe for a penny. How? I'm going nuts. You undoubtedly are. Listen, get that shawl off your head. Stop breaking me, you love. Why, why you're not tall. Well, of course not, silly, but you needn't shout it to the world. Well, well, who the dickens are you? Penny Hermes and get your voice down, Wacky. Penny Hermes? Not me, Penny Hermes. Penelope Hermes, good old USA. Daughter of Penfield Hermes, who owns 30 newspapers and 10 radio stations, and who often regrets having such a daughter. Oh, what have I done to deserve this? Well, you ungallant heel. But Penny, you don't understand. Oh, don't ever think I don't. I know we're both sitting on a cake of dynamite. I'm playing tag with a few. Yes, exactly. What the dickens are you doing here? Well, I'm trying to be Tao until the real Tao gets through the line. You happen to know what will happen if you're caught? Oh, I have a slight idea. But remember, I denied being Tao, so it's their own fault. Well, that makes it all the worse. Won't be long until they'll discover you're an American in disguise. They'll also want to know why. And if they discover your Penny Hermes... Mm, your dramatic mind's building a... a... political fugitive. And you're an American big shot's daughter. Well, that practically puts us right in the middle of an international complication. Oh, holy snakes, I never thought of that. Mm. All I thought of was poor hunted Tao sticking it out in that Red Cross camp until she had to run. It was my idea. I thought we might confuse them long enough for her to get through. Well, you do know the real Tao, then? No, of course. I met her first in Washington a few years ago... Well, she's too fine a person to get stuck on a bayonet end. Any little thing I could do didn't seem like anything. Yeah, but uh, now that Fushigi's caught you... I'll stick it out as Lotus Weefar, the merchant's daughter, as long as I can. By then, maybe something will break. Well, you know, you do look Chinese somehow. <laughs> That's what's the matter with my face. It's makeup. If I have to wash, I'm sunk. Yeah, well, I'll pray it doesn't rain. Well, now, what do you want me to do? Just like you could do anything. But then I'll be out of here in a few hours. I'm sure of it. They won't dare hold me. They have enough trouble without encouraging active foreign ill will. Well, you might wear my father, but don't tell him the truth. Just tell him I'm all right. Yeah, but what if... So now, if you should wish to see evil ducks. Guess we're in for it. Keep the chin up, you know. Uh, maybe your father will come through and they won't have to stick you before a firing squad towel. <laughs> Make a man make joke. Hmm. Rub it in, you lug. General Fushigi find Lotus know many interesting things about army. General Fushigi, listen, maybe yes? You trade two tickets for life? But yes, Lotus want to keep life within miserable body. Yeah, Fushigi listen to reason. But I hope he doesn't listen to you. I feel the fuse is being lit. Listen for the boom, dear. Maybe it'll make you think of Fourth of July back home. Penny is still able to offer a flippant comeback to end the second act of Inside the Line, tonight's production on Curtain Time. Now, a little while ago, 
I asked you how you'd like to try something new for breakfast. Something different from anything you ever had before in your life. And I told you then about Kix. K-I-X. How it's absolutely different in taste. Different even to look at from any other cereal. But I didn't have time to tell you that new looks and new taste and new crispness are only half the story. There's a new idea of nourishment in kicks, too, so far as corn cereals are concerned. You see, corn is an important food, and it's a wonderful source of food energy, too. But up to now, corn cereals have always lacked certain things. So here's the new idea. We took all the valuable food energy naturally found in corn, and then we added, in addition, four other elements. We put four extra elements right into the product during the manufacturing process. We fortify kicks with vitamin B and vitamin D and two important minerals, calcium and phosphorus. You see, we go out and actually add these elements ourselves. And so far as we know, you won't find such food values combined in any other well-known corn cereal. Now, you've had all sorts of cereals in your time... And you probably didn't notice much difference in any of them. Well, we think we've got one that is different. One that really stands out. And now, we want you to try it yourself. It's called Kix, remember? K-I-X, Kix. Get a package tomorrow morning. It is two days later, and Lee is waiting with Mr. Penfield Hermes, American business tycoon and Penny's father, outside General Fushigi's headquarters. Mr. Hermes is speaking. Blasted old woods. Penny has certainly put me in a ticklish situation. Yes, how well I know it, sir. But if they even suspected Penny of being an American, let alone my daughter... Oh, I sweat to think of it. I wish that guard would come back and let us into Fushigi... This weighty jitters me. Yeah, right. We can't get Penny out any too soon to suit me. Well, not that I doubt her ability to get by. I have a very healthy respect for any girl who'll carry on like I saw her do. Bosh! If she'd carry on with a baby carriage, it would be more to my liking. This thing of young women traipsing around, getting into jams, well, it doesn't go with my blood anymore. Oh, but you let her. Let her? <laughs> Don't be so naive. Try and stop her. General Fushigi, see you now. This way, please. Well, it's about time to get another one. The Americans, General Fushigi. Ah, yes. The Honorable Mr. Hermes and our young news friend. Greetings again. And a very gracious welcome to our humble place. Will you be seated, gentlemen? Thank you, General. We are honored by your hospitality. I trust I may speak freely on a matter which concerns us both, unofficially and as a friend. Surely. Speak at will. Uh, Mr. Woods, it's reported that you're holding Tao Tai Ling as, uh, shall I say, hostage? That is right. Now, General, I don't question your ability as a militarist, but do you realize what far-reaching effects holding Tao might have upon your campaign? I think you concern yourself unduly, Mr. Hermes. 
if you'll forgive my boldness, General. This holding of General Tiling's daughter impresses me as being poor strategy. Explain, please. It can be used as such strong propaganda against you. Now, if the men of two nations go to war, well, let them. But when the women are violated, every country rises in indignation. But I am not violating Cao Tai Ling. Her father's your strongest enemy. Who will believe that you hold her sacred? Why, they'll build it as an outrage against good morals. And then what will you have? I see the difficulties, but I am already holding her. Also, I should have to commit Harry Carey to a tone for surrendering such a hold over General Tai Ling. And then... Of what use would I be to my country? Well, pardon my intruding, General, but in the end, you'll either have to release her there by publicly admitting your faux pas or else kill her. I need not tell you the latter would bring the resentment of the whole civilized world down on your shoulders. You speak words of deepest wisdom. I will release her to her father immediately. Take I your think. Hands off of me. What is the meaning of this? General, an American fights cats like devil. Not Tai Tai Ling, but American. What? It's so. Uh, bring your two cents off your shame. Oh, I told you I wasn't cow, but no, no. I had to sit in your cockroach old house for two days like a tired beast. I know. Explain this, Corporal. I go for a nice boat, General. And she not have time to get shot on. Look at her hair. Disgrace, man. The disgrace the way you pen people up. Oh. Hello. Hello. What has Honorable Mr. Hermes to say about this? Why? Oh, 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 not a thing, not a thing. Uh, this takes it out of my hands, General. Uh, my interest is only in world peace. It really can't... I, I can't really be concerned about every young woman who runs loose in wartime. You... But she is in disguise. American spy, perhaps? Well, uh, that isn't my business either. I'm sure she isn't representing the United States. I'm not in disguise. These were all the clothes I could find after the hotel was bombed. Well, good day, General. Sorry to have troubled you. Yeah, so long, General. I'll drop by later. Thank you, gentlemen, for your interest. But, but what I do with this girl? Uh, she's your prisoner, General. Woods and I are deaf and dumb if we never hear of her again. But she is an American. Certainly. Do you know who I am? I'm Pinfield Hermes' daughter. Oh, 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 that's rich. Don't let her pull your leg like that, General. Why do you think Penfield Hermes' daughter would be in the midst of war in China? She's probably lunching at the Ritz right this very moment. Mr. Hermes, is this girl your daughter? Certainly not. She probably knows me from seeing my picture in the papers. Do as you please with her. I'm not a nursemaid for every flighty female our country raises. Good day, General. Hey, take her along. You Americans are so unpredictable. She would be more trouble than Tao Tai Ling. I don't want to be responsible for her, General. No, I take her out and turn her loose. Well, uh, <clears throat> I'll see that she gets out of the war zone if you'll give me a pass, General Fushigi. Most gladly. Here. Thank you. And now, gentlemen, I must return to my council meeting. Good day, General. Yeah, thanks, General, for a very good story. Come along, Lotus. You... You... The next time you want to impersonate somebody, don't pick a military refugee. I mean, Dad. Good morning, Penny. Feast is in the morning shrine garden, or something, as the Mikado says. You would have let me stay there. Oh, I'm learning from the Orientals. They handle the women that way, it seems. Well, you'll not handle me that way. Oh, your leaves worry now, not mine. Well, I'm off for our office in Shanghai, if we've got one left. Ah, Dad. Dad, I'm sorry. <laughs> well, I guess it was a pretty tough lesson, wasn't it? Ah, your old man still loves you. But don't let it happen again. Uh, she won't. We're going back to New York. What? Sure, on a honeymoon. Didn't I promise to show you the town? But not... I mean... Oh, well, I haven't gone into the details yet, but as soon as I get time, I'll tell you I love you. Dirty face and all. Why, you... Uh, 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 uh. Prune? All right. Prune. <laughs> here, here. You're corrupting the Chinese. Nonsense. This is a good old American custom. Tonight's 
production on Curtain Time. Starred in the play were Betty Lou Gerson as Penny, Olin Soleil as Lee, Norman Gottschalk as the General, Burley playing the role of Mr. Hermes, and Lou Herman as the guard. And now a curtain call for the whole cast. Just a minute now, we're going to hear about next week's Laugh Riot, a nursery nightmare from the director of Curtain Time, Blair Walliser. But first, be sure to get acquainted with that brand new cereal I was telling you about. And don't wait. Try it out this weekend. It's called Kick. K-I-X, Kick. And remember, it's so different, it doesn't even look like any other cereal. It isn't flakes, it isn't shreds. Kick comes in round, appetizing golden bubbles that stay crisper in milk or cream than any ordinary flat flake cereal on the market. Say, get two packages without fail tomorrow morning. And now, here's Blair Wallace. Thank you, and good evening. Next week, Curtain Time presents an adventure in three-cornered panties. Yes, it's a delightful yarn about one dozen homeless babies and a bachelor millionaire. You see, Jonathan Jones had seven million dollars, and he loved children. But when he got into a nursery, he was just another babe in arms. And this is a riotous comedy that proves the safety pin is here to stay. Papa Jonathan by Arch Obler, next Friday night on Curtain Time. program are by Alfred Newman and Ferdy Grofay. Another production of Curtain Time will be brought to you next Friday night at this same time by General Mills, makers of Kicks. Be sure to listen. Don Gordon speaking. This is the Mutual Broadcasting System. Be sure to listen. Don Gordon speaking. This is the Mutual Broadcasting System.